Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about turning your PC into a FTP server. Now what does FTP mean? FTP means File Transfer Protocol. Now basically what that means is you can upload and download files using this um, with a server. So an FTP server, picture a server, uh, just picture a, a server is essentially a computer. So picture a computer, it's full of files and you can download it from the internet. Download all the files from this over the internet. And you'll probably have seen in like an address bar of Firefox or Internet Explorer or something. And not all the time does it say HTTP at the beginning. Sometimes it says FTP and that's usually when you're browsing through files. So um, what we're going to do, uh, what, why, why would we want to make, make our PCs an FTP server? Well picture yourself having an 800 megabyte file that you need to send someone. Uh, you can send it over email but they usually have an attachment limit and um, you might end up having to split it and then that take forever um, you can send it over something like an instant messaging client but then usually the files corrupt I've noticed well, m with mine anyway it corrupts if it's too big and um, you could also try those hosts that are on the internet like permanent hosts and but, um, the ones that allow you to upload files but usually they have a limit and um, you can't actually access the files to change them if you want to, or delete them, or whatever. So that's um, you can just use an FTP server, and then you can access your files from anywhere. So I'm going to be showing you FileZilla server, and um, this is an FTP server um, application. Now you, I know that Windows XP has got one built in through IIS. Um, if you look back at one of my previous videos, I did one about how to turn your PC into a web server and you can basically host a website. Uh, it that uses the same thing but it does FTP but for the time being I'm going to show you FileZilla and I'm sure there's better software that people are going to recommend but anyway um, so I'm going to install it, I'm going to click I agree, I'm going to click the standard because we need the server and the administration interface next, next install, it says please choose how FileZilla server should be started so do you want it to share the files as soon as you start Windows and um, I'm actually going to say yes and keep it a default and it says choose the port so if you, you if you use a client to connect to it so the, the, what the clients do an FTP client is an application that allows you to um, change the files if you're given the rights to or set rights or anything like that allows you to do all that um, but you need to know the IP address and the port to connect to so you need to remember this now at default it's 14147 so I recommend keeping it at that just so you can remember it start server after setup completes yes and then how do I want the server interface, which is what we'll install in a while, um, uh, start if user logs on. So if anyone connects to your server, uh, it will pop up with this interface and show you what's happening. So um, we're going to uh, just leave it at default and say start installation, uh, start interface even. So it's installing. It's now put FileZilla server interface on my desktop. I'm going to close this and it says connect to server. So it's now showing me my address to connect to if I were to connect to it locally. If you want to connect to it over the internet, the server address will be your IP address. And I'll talk about that later. So, um, administration password is the administrator for Windows. So I'm just going to type in my Windows password and press OK. And now it's opened up a box. I'll try and make it as small as possible. It says FileZilla server. It says the version, blah, blah, blah. It says connected, waiting for authentication and logged on. So we're all ready to go. And um, there are several buttons on here, you can lock it, you can make it offline so people can't connect to it, things like that. But for the time being we're just going to go to edit, and we're going to go to users. Now you can add users to um, your, you'll notice it asks me for a password. If you connect through the internet it will ask you for passwords and things like that. Now you can give people their own username to connect to your PC. So I'm going to say add, I'm going to say user1, ok, I'm going to click password here. So. I'm then going to call it user. So someone can now connect to my FTP server with the username of user1 and the password of user. It's useful if you want to do that to um, allow certain people to connect to your site or your um, file area, file space. Now shared folders, okay so I have in my documents I have a folder called test and it's got doc.jpg and readme. So I want to be able to share these two files. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go add, now it asks me to check for a folder. I'm going to go to Duncan's documents and then I'm going to look for test. There we go, test. Oops. OK. And I can change the access to it. So I can say people can only read the files in it, write the files to it, or they can delete files to it. I'm just going to say read for the time being. And you can also set it as your home. So when they just type your IP address in with, um, without any ports or any fold extra folders, it will default to this folder. So 
yeah, there's other things you can set. You can you can filter IPs so only certain people can connect if you don't have users and all things like that. So okay, and it says uh, retrieving account settings. So that was when it, I opened up the users bit and it sent it and it's done. So this uh, you may think to yourself, well, why, why can't you just drag it into this box? Well, this is just for showing you what's happening on your server, not for actually sharing your files. But what you've just seen is me actually share this folder. So now I can connect to it through Firefox. And um, you'll notice, uh, if you remember the address, it was 127.0.0.1. And then I'll click enter. But you'll notice this come up with a very nice page, sample text. Now, if you remember me talking about um, turning your uh, PC into a web server, I did an example and I said a very nice page and sample text, and I'll show you. So, this is the web server part of my uh, PC. But if I want to get to this F the FTP server, all I need to do is change this HTTP at the beginning to FTP. Now ask me for a username and password, and you'll notice over here that it's logged everything that's just happened and the time that's done it, and it says someone's trying to connect to you, and it's not logged on yet. And so I'm just going to say username was user1, password was user, click OK. And it says, ah, oh, look, it's all, it's all gone in, and it's logged in, and it's sent all these things. So I'm logged in now, and it says the IP that's logged in. And you'll notice on here, it's got 127.0.0.1, and it says dog.jpg and readme.txt. So these are the files that I'm sharing. So I could just click readme.txt, and it's opened the file here, and it says, it works, woohoo. <laughs> so, because um, that's what's in my readme.txt. So you can then, um, if you want to do it in Firefox, you can right click and then save it and then you can start downloading huge files. So you might have seen these on the internet, they're just another computer and you can just basically put your own files in. Now you can use an FTP client, but I'm not going to go into that, uh, where you can actually access these, rename them, change them and all things like that, but you need to have the rights given from the server. So um, yeah, it's useful. If you have a, a web server and you do that to make websites and things like that, um, usually you get a limited amount of space, but you have unlimited space, so this is all what's on your computer. Um, so you could have gigabytes of stuff in this FTP server. So that's pretty much it. I can't really explain anything else. The interface and the server part of turning your PC into a FTP server. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video. <laughs> it's, uh, it's easier than you probably thought, because um, it's, yeah, it's very simple. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.